Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create some top quality app screenshots. So I use this iOS resolution site to get the size of a different model so I can create a background. I usually go with one of the bigger background sizes because they scale down quite well. And you can choose to specify a custom size in Canva and it'll show you a list of templates you can scroll through. I'm just going to search up any sort of gradient background and choose something that I think will look nice as an app background and just resize that appropriately. So it's just me rotating it and then resizing it however I want to fill the screen. And then I might go ahead and add some little blobs on there to try and make it look a little bit different and um, give it a few different, few more levels. Um, so I've added this one second, but I actually want this to show behind. So I'm going to drag it up and increase its size and then position it to the back. So I'll just move it backwards. And I'll just see if there's anything else that I want to add to this just to add a bit more layers to it. So this is going to form the base for what my, my iPhone is going to appear on. Um, so I'm just going to use this thing as well to sort of make it sort of look like a long continuous thing you can do whatever you want here i think this looks all right um and once this is done i am going to go ahead and share that so if i go ahead and share that it'll allow me to download it and then from there i'll be able to go and use it as a background in my app mock-up tool of choice so there are a few different tools there's place it which is a paid one but today I'm going to be showing you App Mockup. So the advantage of App Mockup is it's free. There are quite a few examples that you can use and it will let you actually start from an example and then use that to create um, your screenshots. Um, and there's also some tutorials as well. So you can look at the tutorials on how to do different things. It's quite a full feature tool for something that's free. Um, the creator does ask for you to shout him a coffee. That seems fairly reasonable. Um, but yeah, it'll help you create some high quality marketing images rather than just having a screenshot of the app itself. You'll be able to include some promotional text and sort of make your app store listings or play store listings stand out. So I'm just going to choose a custom one. And one drawback is that it doesn't currently have the 6.8 inch models, so the max models. It's got um, the 6.5, so the 11 max, I believe, um, but doesn't have any larger than that. So one thing with Apple is they're very specific on their sizing, so you'll need to come up with some way to work around that. You can change the background, so I've got a gradient here, and if I choose colors, it'll give me options on different gradients I can choose. And there's just a whole heap of presets that you can go ahead and choose. So I'm going to choose this one. It looks reasonably nice, but I did want to show you my image, so I'm just going to add that as a background. So this is the image I created in Canva that I'm going to select, so I'm just going to find it. Okay, it's not that. That's my screenshot they'll be adding to the um, preview soon. So that's my background. You can see it fits nicely in that sort of screen. Um, and now I can go ahead and change things like the text to give it some sort of um, motivation to the user why they might want, to, might want to download the app. So my app's a goal tracking app. And so I'm just going to make that more prominent so that it's clear to the user what that is for. You can change the color, you can add shadows, you can turn off the subtitles, you can move the device around. Um, I'm just gonna change the color to white so it stands out a bit better. There's also like, you can add your icon if you've got an icon. Um, and on this device part here, you can go ahead and add your screen. This device only basically adds it only to the device. If you had multiple 
devices, then you could say all um, devices in this column. And it would basically go ahead and add to all the different devices so that um, with the same layout, so that you've got, um, so it's nice and reusable and you don't need to manually go and add each one. Um, you can change the color of the frame or do a few different things inside um, inside the device editor. And that can actually include positioning it diff differently inside the um, screenshot preview. So you might want to move it up or down just to make it look better. Um, I personally want to show it partially off the screen. For one thing, it's going to remove that ad that stops it looking ugly. And I think Apple might not accept ads on their App Store listings. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just going to move it down to solve that issue. So if I just give a negative value for margin, then it's just going to take it down off the screen. So you can see that it's partially off the screen. It sort of looks a bit more um, dimensional, 3D. And I'm going to add in another, um, add the subtitle back in. And it's just going to be sort of like why they might want to track their goals. So I've told them the purpose and I'm telling them why they should download the app. I can um, show you a bit about how to increase that font size. You can increase the line height if it does that overlap that you just saw. You can change the color, add a shadow. So I'm just going to show you a bit of um, shadow and you can also change where it is using that margin there. So I'm just going to add a shadow now. You just sort of play with these numbers until you get something that you're happy with and that looks good. That's all very easy to use, so it doesn't take long to sort of figure things out and get something looking nice. And I'm going to add just a good amount of blur so it's not too obvious and in your face. Cool. So when you've got a screenshot you're happy with, um, what you can do is you can actually go ahead and export your screenshot and it'll just download it in a zip file. Um, you can give it a give you can save your projects and stuff like that inside here. Um, so yeah, here it is exported. And if I open that up, you're going to see my screenshot inside that file. And I could just upload this straight to the app store and it should upload and look nice and professional. So there are a few other things I want to show you. So um, firstly, I'll just start by creating another project. I'm just going to select any phone. I don't particularly care what phone. But you can sort of see that there's lots of different options there. They also have some presets, so for iOS they might give you a few different phone sizes and an iPad, um, and you can just sort of edit them. If you want to create a new screenshot, you can either click Duplicate or New Screenshot and just edit those as you wish to provide different, um, if you want to show different screens within your app, because obviously most apps are going to have more than one screen, and I think the Apple Store requires a few more. You can also browse templates and you can actually choose to load any of these into your um, screenshots, but you'll need to do it as a new project. And basically that's just going to load it up with exactly what you would see in the example. And you can just edit what content appears on the screen and any text, any marketing text and any logos. So that little grey square to the left there is an icon. You can go ahead and you can add your screenshot and it'll look quite nice. I quite like these um, screenshots that go over multiple um, sc screens. I think they sort of just make things look a bit more fancy and sort of stand out a bit more. Um, so yeah, I, I do tend to like using these. Um, and yeah. That's pretty cool. And you, when you export, it'll just export all those screenshots for you. And you can sort of see all the different devices.
and add a new device if you want to. So if I go ahead and add a Samsung device, it'll go and keep, keep that same template. Um, so the same sort of thing, but with the Samsung device. So you can easily add lots of different um, um, devices so that you've got it customized to whoever you're sort of targeting and whatever look and sort of feel you think will best suit your app. Now there's a few more things I want to show you. So I've got this new project here and you can actually choose to change the layout and it'll give you all these different options which will sort of look like the examples a bit more. So you can add some new layouts and they'll look quite good and it will just sort of fit whatever you're going for with your um, particular marketing screenshots. And then you can just go ahead and do whatever editing you want. Um, once again, all devices in this column should just apply it down to any device um, that you've got. And it will just sort of follow that um, for that individual template that you're adding the screenshot for. Um, but I've only got one device here, so it's only really applying to this one device anyway. There's also something cool called um, panoramic, which is kind of useful for creating like a continuous background. So if I set that background to panoramic and go ahead to that panoramic, panoramic option on the left side, I can choose a background that would con be as quite long lengthwise. And then if I choose that and go ahead um, and go back to the editor, you can see it's applied. And if I choose panoramic on this um, device, then you can sort of see it's got that continuous background. So it can look quite nice in the app store. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today and it's provided lots of value to you. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content.